Greetings, Peter Nelson here with Full Service Property Management. And today I want to <clears throat> explain to you our policy of, uh, and, and the reasons behind why we typically do not recommend having pets in rentals. Um, before I get started, don't get me wrong, um, I love the little critters, uh, play with them every chance I get. Uh, it's just that in rentals, it just really doesn't work out so well. And here's some reasons why. Uh, one is a personal experience where I had rented a house to a, a young man who was a good pet owner, had a nice dog. He lived in this house for a while, moved out. Uh, everything was great. Gave him a security deposit back. The next time I rented it out, almost exact uh, mirror image, single guy with another great pet owner, uh, with another great dog. Uh, but when I, when that uh, tenant moved out, the, the carpets were just trashed. And what I realized then was that the second dog was home all day and smelling the first dog and mother nature took over. And that cured me of allowing uh, pets in rentals. Now you say, well, my dog doesn't pee, and you might be right. There's some some breeds of animals are less likely to pee or to go to the bathroom indoors, and other breeds are more likely. As a landlord, what I found is I don't want to get into the uh, breed selection process to figure out which breeds do and which breeds don't. So it's just a whole lot better if we protect the floors and don't uh, allow pets. Um, another reason is that some breeds, as you know, German Shepherds, Dobermans, Pit Bulls, Rottweilers, the list goes on, um, are more prone to biting or hurting people than other breeds. And it just becomes a hassle. Then you have the dogs that bark and wake up the neighbors. And overall, it just ends up being a hassle, real inefficient. I get a lot of people that say, uh, yeah, but you're taking out a lot of the market when you don't accept pets. And you know, they are right. And this policy uh, is the policy that we hold right now because we have such low vacancy. And with this policy in place, we've had low vacancy less than 3% for the last two years. When that vacancy number starts to rise, we'll revisit this policy at that time. But in the meantime, we can maintain high occupancy without having all the stress and hassle and especially the risk of pets. Uh, one final note that if you're still bent on having pets, we do have a pet policy and we will let you, the owner, make the final decision. Just keep in mind, though, that it's highly, highly recommended based on my 37 years of experience to not go there. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Click on some of the other uh, titles that it might interest you. Make it a great day.